Odin vlog. It is uh, Wednesday morning. It's about 6 or 7 right now, and I'm gonna head to the field, get dressed for lifting, so I'll catch y'all later. Just got done lifting now uh headed to class i have a physics exam so i'm gonna go take that and then probably come back to the field so Like I said, yeah, going to swing. And then hopefully today's practice is gonna be a light one. All right, vlog, what's up? Change of plans. Uh, took a nap. And now I'm about to go um, see what the guys are doing because we have practice later today. So yeah. What's up vlog, just got out of practice. Um, about to head home now, so I'll catch y'all later. What's going on vlog, 6 a.m. right now. Thursday morning, uh, heading to the field to do our uh, speed agility stuff. Today I think we're working on some like change of direction stuff and that sort of thing. So, yep, I'll catch y'all later. Um, also, I wanna add that last night, I literally fell asleep from like, I don't know, I fell asleep probably like seven or eight o'clock so that's why i didn't film anything and um but yeah we're gonna continue on with the video today so Yo, what's up vlog, just got out of class. It's about 9.20 right now. My last COVID uh, test, hopefully ever, so. Thanks, you too. <coughs> God. Oh, she did that for literally like 30 seconds. Jesus. That was so unnecessary. All right, 9.33 right now. Uh, I got my COVID desk done pretty quick. And now I'm back in the locker room, about to go hit with one of our assistant coaches. Uh, I'm working my swing a little bit, so I'll throw in some clips of that.
can see those. Baseball on top of the net, that's my goal right now. So I hit that. I think, what was it, the second pitch? That one felt good. Yeah. And the last one, it felt all right. Just, I guess maybe like the timing or something was off. Yeah. Missing. Yeah. Like sometimes we can feel okay about something that doesn't turn out the way that we want. Like that's yeah. okay. Um, just so I can change the angles here, why don't we move the plate? Okay. Let's stick with the nose back. Go back to the heavy back. You want the plate like the middle or the part? Yeah, I want like awful angle, so right about there should be okay. So the reason why we're going no strive awful angle is to eliminate your ability to change your stride direction. Mm -hmm. Touch out front. Yeah. Swing feel okay though. Yeah, it felt a little jumpy, but. That one feels better than that one. Yeah, do it again. this time in that direction. What does that feel like? I mean, not bad. I felt alright, I guess. Like, from this angle, this perspective, I think your barrel started to work closer to the middle of the field. Like, you have to understand, middle, backside approach does not mean sacrifice that speed to like swing that way right like you're in order for you to have success like you need to be really good at head high line drives all over the field not just over the shortstop center that makes sense if if you are just swinging for the six hole man that built a swing that to me I think we're seeing it on the field that is tough to cover the vast majority of the strike zone. Yeah. If we can help build a swing that plays to the middle of the field, like you just need to understand as a hitter, like your approach is I'm just going to let the ball get really, really deep. I'm going to hit off that tee, off my back hip. Okay, like you'll still pull balls, you'll still hit balls to the middle. You'll still hit balls through the six hole over the shortstop's head, but you're able to cover the larger part of the strike zone. I think so. That makes sense. Yeah. We're, we're like behind the baseball for a long time. Your barrel is moving behind the ball, and like that's where you're going to get a little buggy whip when you catch it out front, as opposed to when you catch things out front and drop the end of the bat, like it's either flared to the backside or rolled over. Right. You catch that one a little farther out front. Swing direction is important in this way. Okay. Three, heavy bat, four, 
regular guy, we call it good. All right. What was, uh, let me ask you something. What, what do you think the, server, the purpose of the toe tap serves? Like, what does that give to you? I would say kind of like timing. Because it and like it feels like I load better than my leg. Okay. And then I don't know because I feel like when I do a leg kick or like a hover, like you were saying earlier, I get like two out in the front. Okay. So I don't know. I feel like the toe tap is timing and it also kind of helps me stay back there. Okay. So when I throw you, like I can put a little more on and I can take a little off. Talking like maybe two miles an hour. Like to me, the load looks really, really fast and out of control. And if our load is really fast and out of control, it makes it like it amplifies how hard it is to hit baseball. So toe tap fine, comfort level great. Let's start that thing slower and earlier so we can be on time. Sure. What was that? Like first swing or two, like if we go on top of the mid on First swing or two on the flare, like right up here. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't know if that's me just like trying to wait a little too long and kind of like bend under it a little bit, whatever. But I feel like if I do try and let it get deep, that's where my body starts trying to like compensate and that's where I do kind of get under it. Today again during early work, like mid off. Okay. Waist high. You know, I, I don't know. Give me a few hours to think on that. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know if the better key would be in like timing, like think about being late or think mm -hmm. about like hitting, hitting it off my back hip. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. We'll come up. All right, we're getting. Yeah. When we get out of here for early work, I'll have a few different options. I feel like that is good. Jay Kirk, what what's up? up? What's up? What's up? thinking about Jack. Yeah. Getting it off like my back here, because when I think about being late, that's where I feel like it's something. Okay. Well, go ahead and like set this up if you want to. Just like yeah. visual. It makes it external now. All right, what's going on? Uh, I just got done hitting. I'm heading over to Wendy's, got some food. Uh, it's about 12, 12 30 ish right now. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I gotta be back in like an hour for practice, so. I'm about to get a WAPA. Um, can I get a number one meal? I'll get a large high sea fruit punch and a large fry. Yeah, you want cheese? Yes, please. All right, large, and then with a high sea fruit punch? Yes, ma'am. What up, Jerry? Oh, that's it. Thank you. See you over there in the Wendy's park Yeah, didn't want to wait. Because I'd still be right there where that back car is. Uh, that's where, uh, um, so what I did is like there's like a connection in the back. Yeah, it sounded good when you're over there. Thank you, appreciate it. Big car guy, I guess. Kenny! What? Weaver! This is definitely going in the vlog, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 